The answer is all you have to do is ask. Um, okay, we're asking. The, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the template, the template is there uh, at, at the national level, and a ton of associations in the country have um, leadership academies in place, both at the state and the local level. And one of the things that we've always said is, you know, let's not have to reinvent the wheel. If there's something that a state is doing that's really good, um, and another state doesn't have that product or service, or in this case, a leadership academy, um, we will put the, the state that doesn't have it in touch with the state who does have it, and they'll just use their template. The same thing on a, uh, uh, on a local level. Let me also share just information for, to all of you. So on the national level, um, we've had the Leadership Academy now, I think, maybe 10 years or so. I could be off a year or two, I don't know. Um, so, because so many states have their own Leadership Academies now, there was discussion, does NAR even need a Leadership Academy anymore? Because so many states have them. Um, so what we did this year, we, we did a survey of every single person who ever graduated through the NAR Leadership Academy. Many of them had gone through their own local association leadership academies, and many of them had gone through their own state academies. And the response was overwhelming that it should be kept, and what a wonderful, wonderful experience it was for all those people and how much they learned. I see the heads shaking. You know, when I see those heads shaking, it reminds me of when I was a kid, remember we used to have the dogs in the back of the car? Yeah. Right. Um, no, no side note. Anyway, um, so we did the, uh, <clears throat> we, did the uh, we did the survey and the response was incredible. So we did just the opposite of what started it. We decided to improve it even more and make it bigger and better for the members on a national level. Um, what's under discussion right now and you'll hear this week um, the Realtor University um, was a long haul, but they finally got accredited. So Realtor University is accredited now. That's huge. That's huge. Um, so the Realtor University uh, made a presentation yesterday to the uh, leadership team uh, at, the, at the leadership team meeting. They're bringing forward a proposal that we'll look at. I don't know how it's going to go, but they would actually like to take over the Leadership Academy and bring it to new heights. Um, I, I can't tell you at this point, yesterday was the first time we talked about it, but um, so that's under discussion. Uh, again, any information I have, you'll have. You, uh, you ask a question, I'll tell you whatever I know. So as far as the local associations, Craig, um, just tell them to call us and we'll put them in touch with whomever is the same size that they have and hopefully can just use the same template that another association has. Anybody want to add anything? Well, Craig, I, I hope I'm not <laughs> stating the obvious, but it's a subset to the whole Leadership Academy. I mean, it's imperative, imperative that we encourage and then train younger members to get into uh, leadership in our local associations. I mean, it wasn't that long ago when you know, I was considered, uh, uh, you know, one of the young people in the room. Well, guess what? <laughs> That's not the case anymore. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the average age of, of a realtor out here is anywhere from, I think it's dropped from, what, 57 to 54. But still, we need someone to fill the void. Now, one, one, of, the, one of the problems that we've had uh, at NAR is some people have graduated from the Leadership Academy, and they thought they were going to be ending our president in two or three years. I mean, uh, you know, that's not going to happen, but I mean, I think you have to encourage, in, in your program, you have to encourage uh, your young leaders how important it is to sit on a board of directors, to sit on a committee, the committee chair and vice chair, and the contributions that they can make to the local association. So, I mean, I'm excited that that question came up. It, 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 it has to be effectively implemented.
Maybe, maybe one more uh, so sound bite on that while someone is headed to the mic. Um, I know the Association Executive Committee has a work group that's uh, basically taking inventory of all of the associations in the country in terms of how they approach leadership and whether they have a leadership academy or they have leadership training and what it is. And so once uh, I think the NAR leadership gets the product of that work group, they'll be able to take a more holistic look at how this is all working around the country and then figure out the best way to approach it. 